Wings are some of the most incredible things in the natural world. From the mighty eagle to the tiny hummingbird, wings can do incredible things. But one overlooked user of wings is insects. There are over 900,000 insect species alive today, and almost all of them have wings. In this video, we'll talk about three different kinds of insect wings. Odonata, dragonflies and damselflies, Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths, and Diptera, flies. We'll discuss how they work to the benefit of their users and how they are different from the other two types of wing. It should be noted that the types of wing discussed in this video are not the only kind of wing in the world of insects, and there are many others with many differences. The first kind of wing, those belonging to Odonata, dragon and damselflies, is somewhat different than the other types. Some examples of the insects include darners, skimmers, and meadowhawks. They have four large, veiny wings attached to powerful muscles in the body right behind the head. This unique design has many benefits. The large surface area of the wing provides a lot of power, allowing for incredibly high speeds. A two-inch dragonfly can fly as fast as Usain Bolt runs. The four wings also allow for precise control while in flight, useful for hunting. This can be attributed to the veiny makeup of the wings that makes them flexible yet strong at the same time. For example, the notice helps the wings stay strong against a proportionally high air resistance. You've probably seen both dragonflies and damselflies, but you might not know the difference between them. A damselfly has a thin body and folding wings, while a dragonfly has a thick body and non-folding wings. The next kind of wing is that of diptera, flies. Species include the common housefly, cranefly, and mosquitoes. Diptera are unique in that they are the only order with two wings, as opposed to four. The hind wings have, over time, evolved into small club-like structures behind their forewings, called palpares. These can be used by the fly as a pair of gyroscopes, or to help counteract the vibrations caused by the flapping wings. The forewings are membranous, with simple vein structures, less complex and differently shaped than the wings of the dragonfly. Next is Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths. Species examples include monarch butterflies, polyphemus moths, and luna moths. These wings are especially unique because unlike any other kind of insect, they have scaly wings. Both the orders we've already discussed have membranous wings, but Lepidoptera have wings with scales on them, like shingles on a roof. Veins underneath these scales provide strong, flexible structure to hold the proportionally large wings together. The wings of Lepidoptera are incredibly large compared to their bodies, the largest of any insect. The scales on the large wings often form patterns intended for mating or deterring predators. The polyphemus moth has large eye-like circles meant to scare off predators who might think it's an owl. The monarch butterfly is poisonous and has a bright orange and black coloration to ward off birds trying to eat them. This has led to other species mimicking this pattern to also appear poisonous. Those were three kinds of insect wings. Odonata, built for speed and maneuverability, Diptera, built for stability, and Lepidoptera, built for aesthetics and defense. Of course, these are only a couple of examples, and there are many more kinds of wings in the wonderful world of insects.